The Waves Doubler plugin replicates the incoming audio signal to an additional two or four voices and was inspired by hardware such as the classic Eventide units built in the 1980s. You can control the gain, pan, delay, and pitch of each voice. This takes splitting a lead vocal or guitar track into a new dimension. I remember using various signal processors to double vocals in the late 1980s, essentially to thicken and widen the lead or backing vocal tracks. The difference with this and Doubler is that Doubler preserves audio duration when changing the pitch of the doubled signal. This replica is decorrelated by the initial detuning and the pitch can be further modulated. The end result is the effect of a double take rather than a signal mixed with a modulated version of the original track. OK, let's check out the controls. The main components of Doubler consist of voice control strips, direct signal controls, EQ, and master controls. Gain, pan, delay, and detune can be controlled using the graphic editing windows. Note, Doubler can be used in many ways. It can be inserted on a mono or stereo track or used in an aux send return fashion to affect multiple tracks. You can also choose two or four voices. In our example, we are going to use Doubler inserted on a mono track, but using the mono stereo instance to illustrate its basic capabilities. The per voice control strips are first. The voice on off switch is first in line, followed by the gain control, which defaults to minus 12. There is also a master gain that can further control the output gain of all voices. The pan control ranges from minus 45, fully left, to zero, middle, and plus 45, fully right. The delay defaults to 8 milliseconds, but is variable between 0 and 100 milliseconds. This depends on the align direct and range parameters. When the direct is aligned, the minimal delay possible at any range is 0. When the direct is real time, the minimal delay for range 80 Hz is 8 milliseconds and 14 milliseconds for 20 Hz. The feedback parameter can be set between 0 and 100%. Be very careful when adjusting high percentages of feedback as a feedback loop can develop and damage your monitor system. The octaver switch drops the voice an octave below the direct signal, keeping other settings intact. Notice the downward arrow signifying the octaver selection. The detune parameter is variable between 0 and 100 cents. Remember, 100 cents equals a semitone. This is used to offset the doubled voice's pitch to create a thick chorus-like effect. Values between 2 and 12 cents can be very useful with doubler. Much further creates an effect that sounds out of tune. You give me something to hold on. The modulation depth can be adjusted plus or minus 200 cents. Positive values start with an upward modulation and negative values start with a downward modulation. The modulation rate sets the voice's pitch modulation rate and at 1 Hz the modulation will complete a full cycle in one second. Better is the, taste of the following are the direct signal controls. And I'm not ready, though they're saying it's my time. First, there is a direct on-off switch. This is followed by a gain control allowing us to mix the direct signal with the other doubled voices. Lastly, there is a pan control for the direct voice. The doubler's EQ controls contain high and low shelf filters, which affect only the doubled voices and not the direct signal. The low shelf can boost up to 12 dB and cut minus 24 dB from 16 Hz to 1600 Hz. The high shelf can boost up to 12 dB and cut minus 24 dB from 1000 Hz to 21000 Hz. Use this EQ section to fine-tune the doubled voices to sit right in your mix. You give me the master controls include a switch for align direct on-off, high-pass feedback, range control, modulation reset, and a master output fader. The align direct on-off aligns the direct signal's delay to the plug-in processing latency. 
This latency depends on the range, wherein 80 hertz equals 8 milliseconds and 20 hertz equals 14 milliseconds. When the Align Direct is off, there will be no delay added to the direct signal. The high-pass feedback allows you to adjust the high-pass filter cutoff frequency for the feedback control. The range control has two settings. 80 Hz has lower latency but less accuracy at shifting of low frequency signals. It works fine for guitars and lead vocals, but when doubling bass instruments, you should use the 20 Hz setting. This also works well with mixed sources, such as background vocals, etc. The modulation reset control synchronizes the start of the different modulations that are dialed into your doubled voices. This parameter is automatable and can be used to create interesting modulation effects for the doubler's voices. Lastly, there is a master output fader and level peak display meters that have peak hold fields below the level meters. Here you can control and monitor the final outputs of the plug-in. Let's take a little time to experiment with a vocal track. I'm not beautiful. I just wanna take you home. Bitter is the taste of all I fear And I'm not ready though they're saying it's my time I wonder am I making myself clear Turning circles in a world that walks on line As you can see, the doubler can be very useful as an effect texture for a variety of sources such as vocals, guitar, piano, etc. Make sure to experiment with your own settings and be sure to save the good ones. Take you home.